Yo, what's up? Neil and Poe here. So I was gonna jump into FL Studios here and check a couple. Check a couple. You got things. a banger on your hands, or so. You got a sample of a, a nice bass 808. Every time the bass hits, it overlaps. So I'm gonna go into a good detail on that part, how to cut it, mess with it in FL Studios on its natural way. Then I'm going to show a proper way of side chaining an 808 with your kick using a parametric EQ. And we'll do it with the correct frequency. Let's get into it. A little banger on your hands, huh? So I just threw together the simple little 808 and kick pattern. The 808 um, melody on to track 9. And in track 9, we will add... A parametric EQ. So now we will go to the kicks channel. In your kicks channel um, put on a fruity parametric EQ. Your melody. So in your melody you're mainly hitting or you know in between depending on your kick all the kicks are you know majority of this kick. Some of this down here is at a weird resonance. Not weird but different resonance you don't gotta worry about. With this parametric EQ on the kick you're just using this for visualization go over to your 808 so so we're gonna take out with the base around C3 it says so that's 100 right click on to and I would set it to a low shelf type so that way the whole thing the whole base side from where you want it to all the way to infinite zero so we can go over, so you know that the number two is here, right click on this knob, left click on create automation clip, go back to the, the same knob, right click again, copy value. Now you can exit out of this parametric EQ level thing here. So I would left click, double left click on your automation clip here down here, and this will come up, go up to your max right click and paste value so now that your value will be at your natural mix value okay so now we have an automation clip so you want to take it down so this is the volume of your 808 and this is your kick so you want to get in there zoom in and you want to mimic your kick all this is dead noise so you want it to come in See, that kind of is full until you get to right, right here. So halfway, I would add another one, maybe. Like that. Then you could probably start coming in. Tail ends right there. So now that you have your side chain in, with some 808s and bases, when you bring them in, you will have to go into it, show samples. So my 808s here. Pull up its envelope. Then go over to the wrench and hit cut itself so that when or if they overlap it will cut itself before it starts again so it doesn't get muddy so now we got our automation clip and now let's go back into our mixer on our 808 our parametric EQ and see what it does for each kick control C is to copy control V back up to your pencil you can drag it over control V again make another one eight bar or four bar or whatever that you can just copy and paste the whole rhythm go back in check it out again see what she's doing make sure your 808's uh, getting out the way for your kick because you want your kick to pop through nice clean and fresh and with this way it's a good way because you're not taking out any of the transits or whatever you'd call the, like the resonance the highs that actually come off of it you're still keeping all the the sauce from the the flavor of the sub or the flavor of the 808. Check it out. It's right out the way, only at the uh, the area I want it at. Just the main part of the kick. When you have 808, sometimes don't stop. Sometimes you'll have to just make a dead block. I call it. I don't know, but it's just a mute block. Just cut it off. That little tutorial I had just explained. I use those methods in this song here I have named where. And I wanted to show you this with that method how I use my kicks. This genre of music 
you want it to, I mean, your low bass end anyways. I just have this little jingle. Thank you. 